Thank you. All right, do we have anybody to my left? Oh, Any guests the Rotarians to the left? I know uh, Neil's got, a, I believe, a, a couple of guests he's hidden back in the corner here. Menu. I think you're in the menu. President Mark in training. I think David, uh, I think David Moore would actually enjoy these guests. Lads and lasses, these are yet another pair of typical, although more beautiful, than most of the students on the campus of Lenore Ryan University. To your left, my right, is the great Jasmine Charles. You may have read about her as recently as this morning. We went to Wingate, North Carolina, who had swept us in two regular season games. And she hung a record 33 points on them, and we advanced to the semifinal round going down to Perma, North Carolina. Jasmine is a two-time All-America. She's a three consecutive year South Atlantic Conference first team All-Conference. She ranks fifth, and that could move up in the remaining games we have this year as an all-time scorer at Lenore having already far surpassed the 1,000 threshold. Would you please join me in a warm rotary welcome, and you're going to hear from her, Jasmine Charles. Thank you so much. Um, he just wanted me to give a brief announcement about um, basically what I do and who I am. So I'm um, originally from Lexington, North Carolina. I'm sure you know it for the barbecue. That's about it. Um, <laughs> And I uh, went to Central Davidson High School. I committed here my senior year, and I'm a double major with PR and broadcasting. I would love to do something within the sports broadcasting or anything with sports. Basketball would definitely be the main thing. Um, and I graduate in May. Um, recently, I did make all district academic honors for student athletes with a 3.65 GPA. And I don't know, I've just really enjoyed my time here at LR being a bear and hope to succeed in anything afterwards. So I appreciate you guys' the support and thank you so much. You know, Jasmine, Saturday night we had the elegant Paul Cameron as the master of ceremonies at the Rotarian Hickory Rotary led co-chairs of Drew Van Horn and his beautiful wife Camille. We need to hook you and Paul Cameron up. I think that gets you a fast pass to the uh, to the broadcast industry. This gentleman to my left is an exceptional, outstanding football player. Came to Lenore on specifically to play football, but also he has great track and field talents. And the NCAA mark recognizes as an individual sport cross country indoor track and field, and outdoor track and field. And Kevin Baxter, in the storied history of track and field at Lenore Island, is the only male to ever be named All-America in the NCAA Division II indoor track and field and outdoor track and field. He is a hurdler extraordinaire and will be going to Birmingham, Alabama as one of the very top seeds in competition for yet another All-America. Please join me in a warm rotary welcome for Kevin Baxter. Hey, my name is Kevin Baxter. Um, I'm originally from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, I went to Hermo High School. Um, my major is sports management, and I would love to do uh, anything like what Nils does as an athletic director. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that you guys will consider hiring uh, LR student athletes over the summer. That way we can get some hands-on training and we can stay on campus. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Neil, you got two great representatives of the university right there. All right. Lamar is going to introduce our guests from uh, Rotarian Idol here. I don't know, President Elect Mark, do we have time after Neil's introductions? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we had a um, guest performer from Rotarian Idol a, a few weeks ago. Um, we were supposed to have one last week, but we got snowed out. 
and that performer will uh, perform again next week, which is, as you know, the Thursday before the event. Hopefully everybody stopped by the credit card machine to pay for your tickets if you haven't already, and if you didn't, you still have a chance to do that on your way out. Um, I know there's going to be folks that will grab you as you go, um, but I want to um, introduce today's singer, um, Josh Costello, and I'm going to let Josh tell you a little bit about himself, um, So, but I also want to um, introduce... Um, it's not every Rotarian Idol singer that comes with their own roadie, uh, but Josh did. And I want to introduce Andrew Massey over here. Um, thank you, Andrew. Josh, take it away. Hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here to play for you and uh, be a part of this uh, really amazing fundraising opportunity that you put together. Um, I'm happy to get a chance to uh, sing for you all. and. Uh, Hopefully win some money next month, right? Um, today I'm going to do uh, one of my favorite little tunes uh, by Billy Joel, and I hope you like it. Sorry about that. She can ruin your faith with her casual eyes But she only reveals what she wants you to see She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to me She can lead you to love, she can take you or leave you She can ask for the truth, but she'll never Take what you give her as long as it's free Yeah, she steals like a thief But she's always a woman to me
That was great. Thank you very much. And perfect segue into that. I'm going to introduce John Rambo to talk a little bit more about Rotarian Idol. Thank you, President Mark. I'm jo my name is John Rambo. I am a Rotarian. It's a pleasure to be at my at my home club where people understand that. When I, when I say that, I, I was at uh, Lake Hickory Rotary, I think, last week giving a program on behalf of the theater, and I, I did that little bit, and everyone just sort of stared at me. So, appreciate that. It's it's nice to, to, to see our, our guests from, from Russia again today. They were... They came to the theater last night to see part of our uh, rehearsal for, for Much Ado About Nothing, so it's, it's, it's very good to see you all again. Uh, so, okay, um, well you just saw that wonderful performance from Josh. Josh is one of 20 excellent singers like that that we have performing uh, next Saturday, March 14th. Um, that's the what, that's what we're doing. Um, you'll learn more next week about the why, the projects that we've supported, and what, what a difference that what we do makes in the community. Um, to give you an update on where we stand today, um, we've got a, a, a record, or, or I believe it's a record, of $33,700 in ads and sponsorship in, with the committee chaired by Adam and, and I understand that more is still coming, so we could close on 35 on that. Um, we uh, thank you for those who. Uh, turned in your, your money for, for tickets, the tickets that you sold or, or chose to purchase today. We had uh, $1,670 so far that I counted that, that came in today, so that's going well towards our total. Um, a little challenge that we have, um, there are 39 members of the club that still do not have tickets yet, do, have not uh, picked up or received their tickets, their envelopes are out there. We were trying to catch, uh, Alan and uh, Lynn were here early trying to catch folks as they came in to get those tickets in hand, but there's 39 envelopes I counted still out there. That represents over $6,000 that we will not receive if those tickets don't get sold. So if those are still out there, as you, I, I have to scoot. I'm the only person working at the theater this morning and this early afternoon, so I have to scoot so I can't stay till the end of the meeting. But if those are still out there, take a look. If there's someone you know and can help us get their tickets to them, we appreciate it. Um, for, for guests of Rotarians or those visiting from other clubs, perhaps you'd like to purchase a couple tickets and come see this terrific show. As I said, Josh is only one of 20 singers of that caliber that are going to be performing for you. Also, um, Matt Miller at Bistro 127 is giving a great gift to our contestants and judges. He's going to host an after party uh, March 14th after the show at Bistro 127. Um, it's free to uh, contestants and the judges. And then just five dollars each for all others. A five dollar cover. There's going to be a lot, be live music and food and stuff. And uh, fifty fifty percent of the proceeds from that he is donating to our cause. So um, uh, this Saturday um, we have the Stop Hunger Now meal packing event at St. St. Albans from nine to eleven. Um, I am leaving a sign up sheet, and Mark, you'll you'll pick that up afterwards. There's a sign up sheet up here on the front table as you go out if you'd like to join our contestants in volunteering for that. Um, Eleven contestants, um, and I think about six Rotarians participated in our first service event on the 21st at um, CCN. So I'm really grateful for, for that that participation because we're we're connecting this we're connecting this, this our mission of service above self or our <coughs> motto of service above self with what we're doing and connecting some folks with with service that haven't maybe haven't gotten to experience it before. So. Um, that's that's where we stand right now. We're um, we're set to rehearse on on Saturday. We we're going to have, as you can tell by the caliber of talent you saw here today, we're going to have a great show. Um, but right now, our biggest our, our biggest hurdle or our last our last thing we need to get done in the home stretch is to to get our tickets sold um, and get them in the hands of people who will who will come. And uh, I thank you all for your support. Thank you. darn good Rotarian too if you ask me. Um, just to follow up a little bit what he said, sponsorship sounds great. Don't forget get your tickets please. These folks, Alan and John, Lamar, Sandy put a lot of work into this and let's all make sure we do our part to, uh, as far as Rotarian in our one big fundraiser of the year. 
Century Club and ads and tickets. Remember, David, being a hockey fan, has introduced the Hat Truck Hat Trick Club, and he'll be giving out some prizes, I believe, next week to anybody that makes the Hat Trick Club. I know there's at least it's not been updated for a while. I think about two weeks. But I know the first seven folks were Jan Bowmiller, Meg Locke, Robert Locke, David Moore, Steve Mull. John Ross and Jerry Wilfong were the first seven folks to make the Hat Trick Club, and I'm sure there's more on it, and there's still time for each one of you to, to get on there as well. He had mentioned the Stop Hunger Now. In addition to going and, and serving during the on the 7th, we also the board has given $500 from the board discretionary fund to that, which, will equip, which equals about 1,700 meals. So, appreciate the board of And not only will contestants be there, saying, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe some of our guests from Russia will be there as well. So, great opportunity to meet two great groups that have uh, been participating with us here recently. In addition, one other announcement. Does anybody else have any other announcements? One other announcement. The board has also uh, voted to increase the Service Above Self Scholarship from $3,000, from $2,500 to $3,000. So we appreciate the board doing that as well and giving a little bit more to our teachers. And with that, I will introduce Sam with the program. I think you guys know who I am, hopefully, by now. Um, the front page of your spoke details the program. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that data, but I want to reinforce that this open world program our guests are visiting with us um, is a congressionally uh, originated and sponsored program, and Rotary International took over the management of this program in 2012. Um, many of you are familiar or might remember the group study exchange. And it's, it's a very similar kind of thing that what they've done is they have identified young professional people in communities. Um, this is specifically targeted at Eurasia to help us to develop relationships in areas where we haven't previously had very strong relationships. So this program is all about relationship and I could take an hour or two to, to share with you guys. I want to encourage everybody before we get started to stay as long as you can stay to take advantage of the opportunity to interact with these people and, and to, um, to share. So I'm going to allow them to stand and introduce themselves because I'm still struggling with saying their names properly and they're going to tell you what their professions are. Then we're going to show a slideshow. I'm going to ask Sergey to show his slideshow and then after we've done the slideshow I'm going to ask all of you to come up to the front and we have an exchange of some gifts that we're giving and they, they have some things that they're giving, so we'll do that at the end. So who wants to go first? No, you, you can stand here to do this part, okay? Right, okay. Elena is going to translate. She is our interpreter who's come from Atlanta to do this for us. Всем привет. Ну, меня зовут Сергей. Я приехал из Ивана. Я врач психотерапевт. Good afternoon, and my name is Sergey. I'm a physician. I came from the city of Ivanovo in Russia. В Ивану занимаюсь лечением пациентов с различными формами зависимостей. I'm a, a mental health uh, counselor in Ivanovo. I uh, deal with various substance abuse issues. И реабилитации подростков and teen, uh, rehabilitation of teenagers. Uh -huh. And we came here to exchange experiences and to bring back uh, the lessons learned back to Ivanova. Uh -huh. We enjoy being in Hickory. Uh -huh. Но у нас хватает сил для того, чтобы получать очень большое удовольствие и большую радость. We have a very intense professional program, but we still have time to have fun. Спасибо. Good afternoon. 
let me introduce myself. My name is Lyubov. Uh, I am a specialist in social work. I am a teacher psychologist in Visco. Um, I work of my uh, uh, science uh, dissertation, uh, and the theme of my uh, thesis is predictive behavior among students. Меня зовут Анатолий, я по профессии инженер, работаю инженером, но в свободное от работы время я занимаюсь общественной деятельностью. Я проводил литературные конкурсы в Иваново, мы работаем с детьми, которые в детских домах находятся. А здесь я как представитель общественной организации «Трезво Иваново». Uh, hello, all. My name is Anatoly. I'm also from the city of Ivanovo. I'm an engineer by training and I work as an engineer. However, in my free time, I'm a volunteer and I work in uh, several nonprofits. Uh, we uh, work with uh, children in orphanages. I've organized literary contests, and here I represent a sobriety society of Russia, of Ivanova. На мероприятиях, которые мы уже в организации, которые мы уже посетили, я увидел много полезного опыта, который могу поделиться со всеми организациями, с которыми мы сотрудничаем у себя на родине. Uh, this visit uh, proved to be very beneficial so far, and I've learned a lot, and I'm planning to share my experiences uh, back home in the uh, non-profits that I'm involved with. По возвращению у нас уже запланирована встреча, где мы расскажем, сделаем презентацию того, что мы здесь увидели, и обсудим, как мы можем это применить у себя. And I also uh, already planning a presentation when I get back home with all uh, to all my colleagues and members of the nonprofits, and I will share uh, my experiences with them. Hello, uh, my name is Valeria Rodionova. Ординатор, клинический ординатор кафедры акушерства и гинекологии Ивановской медакадемии. Uh, I'm from the city of Ivanova, and I'm in my last year of, re of residency. I'm an OBGYN. Прежде всего хочу поблагодарить всех вас за организацию такой интересной для нас программы и за теплый и гостеприимный прием. Uh, first of all, I would like to express uh, our gratitude to all of you for organizing such an interesting program for us and for your uh, warm hospitality. Мы были очень приятно удивлены, и я думаю, что наша поездка сюда в Хикаре очень изменила наше мировоззрение, и мы принимаем вас очень много опыта, который можем воплотить в жизнь нашему городе Иваново. Uh, we uh, were very, uh, we've been so far very impressed with this uh, visit and with our stay in Hickory. This trip uh, has changed our outlook and we're uh, planning, as all my other colleagues said, to share our experiences and lessons learned. И мы надеемся, что наша поездка сюда будет как связующая нить между двумя государствами к дальнейшему сотрудничеству. And uh, we, I hope that this visit uh, will be a first step on our road to further uh, cooperation and uh, friendships uh, between our cities and countries. Thank you all. Всем добрый день. Меня зовут Алексей. Good afternoon. My name is Alexei. По профессии я психиатр-нарколог. And I'm a psychiatrist, a specialist in drug addiction treatment. В настоящее время я работаю в областном наркологическом диспансере. I work at the regional uh, mental health facility. Занимаюсь организацией, организацией помощи больным с зависимостями в нашем регионе. 
and I'm responsible for organizing for all healthcare services provided to um, uh, drug addicts. Также сложными экспертными случаями. I also personally uh, serve as a consultant in the most serious cases. Организации реабилитационной работы и взаимодействия с общественными реабилитационными организациями. I organize all our rehabilitation efforts in our region and uh, cooperate and work in partnership with all other organizations and agencies in our region. Хочется поблагодарить ротарианцев за теплый прием. I would like to thank all our Rotary Club members for your uh, inviting us and for your warm hospitality. Мне очень понравился город Хикари и очень понравились жители города Хикари. Вы очень гостеприимны. Спасибо вам. Thank you. I really liked Hickory and I like uh, all of the people that live in uh, this city and thank you all again very much. Good afternoon, my name is Natasha, I'm going to introduce myself in English. I'm actually the facilitator with the group of accompanying translator. Um, so I'm not actually in the field with those guys, but I learn um, a lot from them actually. And um, well, as my, uh, my profession is I work in travel industry, so this is what I do in my free time. And on behalf of the whole group, I would like to say thank you to Suzanne for putting this all together. It's just tremendous work that she did. Seriously, it's just tremendous work. and get ready for the slideshow while you're doing that. Um, I want to thank all of the Rotarians. I've had great participation, great support from the members of this club. First of all, I want to ask the people who have done Homestay Host to stand up and, and be recognized for keeping people in, in the home. I believe the only person who's not here today who has done uh, hosting in her home is Meg Locke, and she had all three of the gentlemen for the first half of the week, but she's busy today at lunch. So give these guys a big round of applause. several Rotarians who have hosted us in their businesses and so I want to ask you guys to stand up now um, some who have already been to see and some who are yet to be seen but uh, Susan and John Rambo and uh, who else do I have here today that's already hosted us in the business okay and then um, lots of behind the scenes help too I've had lots of people making telephone calls and coordinating for me behind the scenes to get some of these appointments set up um, and I'm already hearing the comments. We went to city council meeting on Tuesday night, and of course there were a lot of you guys at city council on Tuesday night who were there in your professional roles. And we've done a few things at my church, at Church of the Ascension, so there have been a few people that have been popping up throughout the week over and over again. So thanks to all of you for your help and support. Um, Sergey is a, a photographer in this, one of his hobbies, and I don't think that that's, maybe that is part of the slideshow. <laughs> Uh, this is a short uh, clip, you know, I put it together back in 2011. I was not actually preparing uh, for this, uh, you know, presentation or for this slideshow, but Susan suggested that I do it, this so morning at I decided to uh, show it. <laughs> Uh, these are uh, mostly pictures of uh, cities and towns in Russia that I personally visited and you know made these photos and mostly these are uh, old Russian towns. So enjoy. It is one of Regional Lake. Uh, it is Vladimir. Vladimir Regional Town. Uh, this is the town of Vladimir. It's not too far from Moscow. Uh, it's uh, one of the cities in the so called Golden Ring around Moscow. These are all. Uh, old Russian towns. Uh, church, uh, that's one of the churches built in the 12th century. 
This is another old Russian town, uh, Rybinsk. It's in the Yaroslav uh, region. This is St. Petersburg. Moscow. That's a 16th century church. This is uh, in the Crimea in 2010. That's a mountain on the, that's the Black Sea and that mountain is called Bear, because it looks like a bear. And that one is a cat. In the shape of a cat. These are all pictures of the uh, Crimea, which is on the Black Sea. The uh, Swallow's Nest, that place is called Swallow's Nest. Again, Vladimir, the city of Vladimir. That's a city I was born in. And this is St. Petersburg. Yeah, you know, St. Petersburg was founded in uh, the early 18th century. Uh, the city was uh, founded by Russian Tsar Peter the Great, and it's uh, very different from other Russian towns. It's uh, more of a European city. This is uh, uh, in the suburbs of St. Petersburg. There's a town of Peterhof with the uh, former Tsar's palaces. That's another park uh, in the... Uh, that's also another town and the, with an old church, the various slavs of this That's the uh, church, the uh, cathedral of the Christ the Savior in Moscow. Kremlin in Moscow. That's the Moscow River. That's again the city of Vladimir, that's all Yaroslav. So these are all the uh, towns that are part of the uh, so-called gold ring. Mm -hmm. That's another old Russian town uh, named Plos. It is uh, situated on the uh, river uh, Volga, Volga River. That's uh, Rostov. Another old Russian town. St. Petersburg. Better half of Zaz Palace. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you perhaps have uh, calendars uh, <laughs> that I was giving out uh, with this, some of the same pictures. Most of the That's another suburb of St. Petersburg, a town of Pavlovsk. <coughs> That's in the Ivanovo region, where we are from. That's a zoo in the city of Yaroslav. Volga River, Vladimir. Thank you. you uh, the participants to, to line up here in front of the table we have some certificates for you and
present a gift, and I understand you have something that you wanted to present as well. This is supposed to be presented at the end of their trip, but I thought this was really kind of the best uh, situation to do it was in front of the club. So this is just a, a certificate of achievement to each of the participants for what they have done here this week, and it says uh, certificate achievement awarded to their name to commemorate your participation in the program sponsored by the Open World Leadership Center. So, oh, can I get you one as well? Yeah, you get one as well. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so, and then uh, President-elect Mark has our gift um, from our club. And Suzanne, past president Suzanne. Um, we have, on behalf of the club, we have some rotary coins for you. It has Paul Harris on the front, and it has the four-way test on the back. And that club just hopes that you have enjoyed being here as much as we've enjoyed having you this week. And hopefully the last two or three days are as fun as the first four or five days have been. And I think that we should give Suzanne another round of applause for all yeah. of our Thank you very much. Thank you card from um, Savannah Spencer thanking us for the reception at the theater that we had on the 19th. And I've left that up on the corner of the table if anybody would like to read that on the way out. Doug, if you can come on up. The service above self raffle, I appreciate it. Don't forget the coins in the Alzheimer's research bucket, online makeup instructions in the spoke. Get your idle tickets on the way out if you have not already done so, and we do encourage you to become a member of the Hat Trick Club. Suzanne, if we could get one of them maybe to come draw for us. I would, we would like to thank all visitors, visitor, visiting Rotarians, um, certainly our, our Russian guests, our LR students, for joining us today. We have, looks like 18 cards, one joker. We collected $96 today. We have a total of $2,636 in the pot. And the winning ticket is, last three numbers, 938. 545938. We got a winner back there. And please make sure to make plans to attend the after party at the on Rotarian Idol night as well. We do have a correct call of bingo. There you go. It is a black card, but it is a black two of clubs. Let's call let's close with the four-way test. Of all the things we think, say, and do. This is the truth. Fair to all concerned. Will it be a good will and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Good job.